Well, Major League Baseball in itself the last few years has been absolutely horrific in terms of just guys consistently getting hit. And not only so much getting hit, but more of the balls that's passing by their heads. And, you know, Major League Baseball is, is trying to implement some different things and trying to do things that sort of uh, to protect their players. But for me, to see a guy like Jay Happ, to see a guy like Alex Cobb, to see a guy like Brandon McCarthy, I mean, you're talking about cranial bleeding, you're talking about cracked skulls, all these things that you don't anticipate when you get ready for a seven o'clock game. Just imagine a ball coming at your kid uh, and they can't get out the way. You're, I mean, you're as a, you're, you're as a parent. Um, that's the most scariest thing you, you can ever imagine. And I think, you know, me on the outside of that gate now and seeing these kids and seeing it from a different light. I think it's, it's different for me because I play the game and I understand it. Some of these parents have not played the game. They don't understand that ball is coming at you at, 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 a, at, a, at a rate, at a speed that's going to put their kid, you know, in jeopardy. And I think that to me is the most scariest thing because I see so many kids that are just misses. And you're talking about a 30 mile an hour baseball coming at you, hitting you in the right area of your temple can kill you. I think it's about longevity in life. Not a lot of our kids are gonna get an opportunity to play Major League Baseball. It's about life and, and, and living. Well, I invented this for the simple fact that I have kids and I have kids that are, are at the disposal of these, of these big, strong kids hitting baseballs back then. I mean, from a professional standpoint, uh, going through Major League Baseball and, and seeing these guys the last few seasons, uh, you know, take some horrific hits on the mound. This is also important, this ball cap liner that I love, that I appreciate it. When, when I start thinking about it, I appreciate the fact that, you know, I could sit down and think about something uh, after playing the game and knowing that uh, I needed to come up with something drastically right now, this was it. BCL uses a UK company that specializes in impact protection and shock absorption solutions. The molecules in the D3O material flow freely in its relaxed state. Upon impact, the molecules gather together, stiffen, displace the energy to a larger area, and instantly return it to its relaxed state. ICS Laboratories is a leading independent laboratory in North America for testing and conformity assessment of personal protective equipment and one of the foremost in the world. Their results show that the BCL passes the youth baseball and softball frontal impact standards and significantly reduces impact to sides and venerable temple area. For the outer shell of the BCL, we use a high performance metal replacement polymer, which is 75% as strong as die cast metal. The National Federation of State High School Associations Sports Medicine Advisory Committee concludes that the BCL is legal for use in high school baseball and softball. Proud to be the official ball cap liner for all fielders and pitchers for Cal Ripken and Babe Ruth Baseball and Softball Leagues. This is the best part for me. I love the ball cap liner for the simple fact that it's lightweight, it's durable, when you talk about durable, and you talk about having a foam that's, um, that's easy to wash. Um, you talk about having kids uh, and, and teenagers, and, and even adults. You know, when you have something on your head, you want to forget about it. And I think the, the ball cap liner allows you to do that. Uh, and, and the fact that it has a little slickness to it, uh, was which I was going for, but you talk about all the, you know, the things that I like, the perks, the best thing about it is it feels good on your head. The ball cap liner has a product development team of engineers and designers that researched and tested the prototypes with the finest materials and styles until they found the best head protection worn under a cap in the market.